Final in the international continental talking point, and Elka moves into coaching. Former Chelsea striker appointed coach at Shanghai Shenhua from April 12th to 2012. Shanghai Shenhua have given Nicholas and Elka his first step into coaching as he aims to end their poor start to the season. The former Chelsea striker moved to a Chinese Super League club in January and has scored two goals for the club. Okay, this is starting to follow an interesting pattern, but new manager John Tiganar, who you may remember from Fulham back in the... Um, Early noughties, I forget. No, late nineties. Um, has not had a successful beginning after taking over for the new season, having won just one once in his opening five games. They were expected to challenge at the top of the table this term, but their disappointing start has led to speculation that Tiganar would be sacked. Anelka was made team captain for the campaign and will now continue his role on the pitch with a coaching role behind the scenes. Um, due to the team's recent record, this club statement said, um, due to the team's recent record which has not met the expectations and demands of the club's fans media or other parties and the fact that the foreign and the fact the foreign players are in urgent need of high quality training the club has made the decision to replace some members of the coaching staff the club will introduce four coaches from the united kingdom and france to ensure sorry to join the coaching staff to provide necessary training support to ensure the competitive state of the players in addition the team captain nicholas anelka will coach and participate in the team's daily training management he will um, anelka also confirmed um, the move himself on his official Twitter feed saying it's official I just become the new player manager of Shanghai Shenhua now fact of the matter is yeah don't get this fact of the matter is don't get this you sack an experienced manager like Jean Tiganar after five games okay there's your first Mong move secondly you hire an Alka who's had no experience at all okay it's a win-win move for him because at the end of the day It'd be a case of if he if he buggers if he buggers up if he messes up he can just say well I had no experience anyway so what the hell did you, what in the blue hell did you expect or if he does well see that's why I'm the man yeah see see how well I did so it's one of them was win win for him but for the club to do that and he's only and think about Nelka's only been there since January so he's been there what three and a half months. Again, Mong move number two. I I personally don't agree with that move. I mean, Anelka's obviously jumping at the chance to do it because get your feet wet in management as he's coming to the end of his career. And well, I I don't I don't get it by Shanghai. I think I think it's a silly move. I think it's a silly move, especially after only five games. It's like, come on, all right, come, okay, all right. If it's if it's a ten game season. And you're languishing at the bottom. I can understand that, but I don't think they've got a ten game season. I don't get it. I don't get it. But G man, what do you reckon of this? And then we're gonna throw it out the Skypers as well. Um, no, I was just, yeah, as I said in the office the other day when we spoke about it, um, I feel an an Elka will be a little rubbed, you know, considering he's gone there to play football. Mm -hmm. But you know, he might be up for a challenge, and yeah, it's going to be a win-win situation for him. However, for the actual football club, I just see it as that they look at Nelka and think, look, he's played around the world at multiple different clubs at on the highest level. You know, he's going to have something that most of our managers won't have, and that's just an experience on the highest European level. And he 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 might not have experience of management, but he will have through playing with the best managers in the world, he will have that sort of, like, you know, just intelligence and, and, and know-how and probably, you know, I don't know, coaching methods, you know, that, that's been used on him. Be, be able to pass it on to younger coaches around him, even the older coaches that, that are there amongst him. You know, it, it it's a risk, but, you know, he's getting paid a lot, a lot of money, so it's a risk worth taking for himself and the club, I suppose. Mm. Mm. Well, what? So you're saying essentially he could be a manager by osmosis. So by hanging around with the best, you learn from the best, and you become the best. That sort of thing. What? No, I'm saying that his his experiences could be beneficial to everyone. And not not on a, a, a management capacity for himself, but for managers or budding coaches that are in China, you know, around that club. You know, they could learn from his experiences. He could show them, look, we used to do this at Real. Look, we used to do this at Arsenal. Look, we used to do this at Fenerbahce. You get me? You know, if, you know, let's, let's do this. We used to do this at Bolton. Look, if you, you know, just those sort of things. Mm. No, it's, it's an interesting point. 
it is an interesting point. I just think it's a silly move by Shanghai, but considering um, Tegan experience. Yeah.